the summer holidays. This is going to be the best day ever. <laughs> what are we going to do, Dennis? Yes. A. Break the world decibel record with the din makers. B. Put bubble bath in the swimming pool. Or C. Water bomb Walter with super sticky black currant squash. My magnum opus is finished. What I did in my summer holidays. I devoted my entire summer to writing this essay. Option, option C. Option D. I mean, what, what you said. Nash, nash, nash. School homework? Nah. Summer holidays are for <laughs> fun. Not you as well. Ah, oh, sorry, Dennis. I've written a daily online blog about my holiday. I've gotten over a hundred hits on my site. <laughs> if I write down everything I've done this summer, it'll be a signed confession of all my pranks. <laughs> well, you are the prank master general, Dennis. Yeah, you're Lord Pranky. Liz, come down now. It's time to do your repair job on the Colonel's fence. <laughs> <laughs> So it's your last chance to put things right. I'm off fishing. I can't help the Colonel. I I've got homework. Well, you better get moving then. Can't stop bee starting nursery today. Oh, how many is that now? That would be number 12. Go right, go B, it's the last one on the list. It's this nursery or none at all. But I just want one more day of fun. Then you'll just have to make it fun. Brilliant idea, Mum. <laughs> Reporting for duty. <laughs> Ready to take your punishment, cadet? If I must. That's the spirit. Face the firing squad with a smile. Ah, here we are. What's this? New fence. Double strength this time. And I want them all moved over there. Every last post. And I don't mean played on the bugle. Ha ha ha. There's a little military joke. You no, know, uh, never mind. <laughs> yes, my bugling isn't what it used to be. <laughs> <sighs> yes, mate, it's a lovely big pile of sticks. <laughs> Extremely heavy sticks. <laughs> Jane from Tippington Shire. How many of these do you reckon you could gnash? Now remember, be good. It'll be just fine. Please don't worry about B. It's not B I'm worried about. <laughs> <laughs> Can't take the pace, eh? You'll think twice before you drive a tank into enemy territory again. Good job, Nasha. Now, what about the rest of them? <laughs> Don't leave stuff on the pavement. It's a public health thingy. <clears throat> Keep it moving now. A nice neat pile. Oh, what? What in the... You! Ow! <laughs> you underestimate your adversary, young fellow, me lad. I've got my eye on you, and I'm awarding myself a medal for foiling petty treason. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, time for the is, I think. Continue. Post haste. <laughs> no, nothing. Uh, no sense of humor, the young. Mm. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Rush is back. <laughs> right, team. Ready to pull? And. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sergeant Tinkle, man down, man down. No. I 
for my school homework essay, My Summer of Good Deeds. What a thoughtful gesture. Ooh, ooh pink sprinkles. I've been inspired by your military heroism to help others. Pah, help yourself more like. Oh, thank you, Dennis. I will. <coughs> hard work makes you hungry, eh, Dennis? Angel Face, how about you do some hard work and help me with these? <coughs> You, Dennis, but that wouldn't be helping you learn from your mistakes, would it? Ah, you're a credit to the community. Oh, I've had enough of this. It's time for Plan D and G. Uh, where is G anyway? Nasha, Nasha. <laughs> oh, are you funny? I would like to thank my literary assistants, Bertie and Dudley. My homework! Don't worry, Walter. I haven't done mine either. Treat us to part 27 of your essay this afternoon. Well, Dennis, where is your homework? <laughs> My homework? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Dennis, where is your homework? Oh, my homework. It's out there. <laughs> Oh, no. Aha! Those are my missing timbers. Colonel, thank you so much for your donation. <coughs> Donated by the Colonel? But this is an outrage. An outrage that we haven't celebrated our local hero sooner. Angel Face spoke about you so movingly in her What I Did This Summer essay. Is there no end to this girl's kindness? No, no end. In fact, she's helping me fix your fence later, aren't you, Angel Face? Of course I am, Dennis. Well, in that case, Ted Shun, time to take up my post at that fort. Ha ha ha! Post, you see. Post? No, oh, forget it. Prepare to storm the battlements. Best first day of school ever! <laughs> No sudden moves, Nasha. <laughs> the Dennis Deluge Drencher Deluxe is almost ready. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
bunged up my bugle. I was just awarding myself a medal for excellent garden tidiness. Do you know what your stupid bugling just did to my new secret weapon? Foiling enemy experiments, eh? Think that deserves a medal too. Oh, haven't you got enough silly medals? Silly? I think not. Medals tell you all about a man and his deeds. And they're so shiny. Finally, a chance to put Operation Blue Sky into action. Very hush hush. <laughs> This calls for a menace meeting right now! Nash, Nash. He's ruined another experiment with his medal awarding ceremonies. So today, we're gonna menace with the thing Colonel loves best. <gasps> you don't mean! That's right, Pie Face. We're gonna meddle with his medals. Curly, telescope. Hey, you put boot polish around the eyepiece, didn't you? <laughs> no way, Dennis! <laughs> See? <laughs> Come on, time to... Wow! What's happened to the Colonel's house? What? <laughs> Find out down there! What's the matter? Never seen a chap give his house a coat of camouflage before? Are you expecting an invasion or something? <laughs> Worse, I'm expecting a boar, a braggart and a blowhard. A what, a what and a what? Yeah. My best friend, Brigadier Withering Guff. Always trying to meddle with me, but my crafty camouflage will outfox the old fox. Old fox Neil, boy? Uh, not likely. What? <laughs> nice try, but my camouflage is a bit more realistic. Possibly a bit too realistic. <laughs> <laughs> Think the medal for outstanding camouflage goes to me, don't you? Hmm, well, I suppose. <laughs> That's one in the eye for you. <laughs> <laughs> Cheer up, Colonel. Looks like you've been decorated after all. <laughs> Tour of inspection. Guffy? Hmm. More interested in all these medals you claim to have won, old boy. Well, this one is for successful moustache trimming. And this one's my medal for bravery in the face of extreme supper. Rations of curried prunes, sprouts, and rhubarb. Not bad, I suppose. Not exactly like proper medals, though, are they? Not like this one, for wrestling escaped crocodiles. Or this one, for plugging erupting volcanoes. <laughs> Ah, spies! Whoa! Did you get a medal for wrestling a crocodile? Absolutely! Ugly brute, impressive teeth. Nearly as impressive as the chompers on that fine hound. Yes, yes. How did you defeat the croc? Mm, it was touch and go. But eventually I cowed the beast with my overwhelming strength and impressive shouty voice. <laughs> That's nothing. This medal is for giving the kiss of life to a drowning fish. This is for boxing with a black belt kangaroo. This one's for taming a beetle with a banjo. This one's for taming a killer whale with a kazoo. Ha! Child's play. Man's game. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I've got a brilliant idea. You two should have a contest, and the winner takes the medals from the loser. I accept the challenge. As do I. And we'll help you. <laughs> I don't need any help from you. Mm -hmm. I, however, think you're just the sort of plucky chaps I could use on my team. Let the contest begin! Challenge one. Restoring the Colonel's house to order. <laughs> yeah, yeah, quite. Yeah. Oh, cleaning paint off doesn't sound that much fun. Not even if it's testing my new Dennis Deluge Drencher Deluxe. What a bombs away! <laughs> Making the parade ground orderly. Head cut, presenting a perfectly pruned platoon of privets on parade. <laughs> 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 Challenge three, drilling the troops. Ha! 
front line in elf defense, you know. <laughs> Never thought following orders would be this much fun. I'll take that one for sloppy parade performance. And that one too. Bandage gnomes are a disgrace to the regiment, Colonel. Oh. Hey, Colonel, why don't we forget the stupid contest? It was only supposed to be a bit of fun. Uh, back down from a challenge? Never! I've one medal left. Enough for one last contest. You heard the man, lads? Wouldn't want to hurt his pride, would you? Well... OK, a race then. Whoever can build and drive the fastest all-terrain vehicle across the lake wins. Morning, chaps. Just come to help. Oh, but we've just fin finished. Excellent work, troops. Looks like it's time to present the all weather Guffy Goliath. <laughs> Steady with those vital supplies, lads. There's a medal to be won. <laughs> is fit to wear these shiny beauties. Help! 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 Lady! It's the yes. You big phony! I thought you wrestled crocs and plugged volcanoes. Well, not personally, but I did give the orders. I've got medals for giving orders, you know. Wait! Where are you going? Come back! I order you to stop escaping and help me escape fast! Hold on, menaces! Never thought I'd say this, Colonel, but you're a hero, not like some people. Cowards! Traitors! Ooh, mummy! Right, troops, time for Operation Rotter Rescue. Well, your vehicle did make it further than mine. The rules are rules. might be daft, Colonel, but you earned them fairly. So here are some that aren't silly for rescuing us. For not giving up, even when you are outnumbered. Huh? That's for not being a big cheat like blithering guff. Well, yes, I, I never... <laughs> Lads, right, Guffy. Consider our friendship decommissioned. I'm giving you your marching orders. Don't forget to pack your trunk. <laughs> I would have gotten all those medals, too, if it hadn't been for you meddling kids. <laughs> Watch out, Guffy. His bite is worse than your bark. <laughs> <laughs> You can award yourself another medal, Colonel, if you can catch us. <laughs> Dennis! I mean, really, what sort of a mongrel are you anyway? Tripound? That's not even a real breed. Nobody knows what tripe is anymore. A freak. That's what you are. And furthermore, what kind of a dog shaves his legs? Uh, you don't. Do you? Yes. And that smell! I'd offer my trademark derisory snort if I didn't think the intake of air might render me comatose. Huh? 
lost me at derisory. And as for those supposedly world-class gnashing abilities of yours, know what I say? All took. <laughs> Walter, what are you doing? <laughs> gotcha! Military-grade gnash-proof titanium boxer shorts. Freshly delivered from worldofunderpants.com. I may just have to risk a derisory snort here. Henceforth, I shall walk the streets of Beano Town unafraid, confident that my nether regions are safe at last from the... <laughs> ah! <laughs> Some people never learn. And due to the lamentably substandard nature of this product, I will now not be recommending World of Underpants forward slash 100% anti proofcom and intend to look elsewhere for a more reliable supplier of armoured underwear. I expect a full and immediate refund and send. Hello, Walter. We got your email. <gasps> yeah! That's where it happened. And you say a dog did this? Yes, a dog. Look, whatever I said about World of Underpants forward slash 100% anti com, I really am most impressed with your complaints procedure, but... Can... <laughs> You're not from World of Underpants.com, are you? Son, we're gonna need your help. <laughs> Walter, seriously? Is this some kind of life is pain emo thing? Because <laughs> other types of music are available, you know. <laughs> what? What just happened? Walter, who was in that van? Who? I'll tell you who. MI13, the top secret government spy organisation. But what would they want with Nasha? Apparently that ghastly mutt of yours has been deemed a threat to national security and you are never going to see him again. <laughs> can one look triumphant dressed as a sausage? I think one can. <laughs> Please, there's got to be some way to find out where it is. <laughs> oh, sorry, Dennis. It says here the address of MI-13's Beano Town branch is known only to local military personnel. Well, that's no good. We don't know any... Ah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, chaps. Earwax. The silent enemy. Where did you say you were from again? MI-13, Beano Town branch. Uh, we just popped out to the shops for some biscuits. Uh, yeah, and the place is so secret, we forgot how to get back. You couldn't give us directions? Of course, it's... Hang on, how do I know you're who you say you are? Ah, because of all the cool spy stuff we have. Such as? Um, walkie-talkie trainers. <laughs> Agent D to Agent C, come in, please. Do you read me? Over. <sighs> Reading you loud and clear, Agent D. Over. Wow, that's amazing. Then there's these. Black Ops Cola Cubes. One suck and the enemy's out for the count. Observe. <laughs> My word, impressive. Sorry I doubted you. All right, listen carefully. Huh. This'll be the place then. Weird how we've never noticed it before. Yes? Am I 13? No. Can I have my dog back, please? <laughs> OK. They had their chance. One sausage ought to do it. Curly. <laughs> now all we have to do is wait. Ah, works every time. <laughs> That was unexpected. We call it the Nashinator. It's a prototype superweapon made from cloned Nasher teeth. What? Where's Nasher? He's being debriefed at our other, even more secret base. But now, thanks to you, there's an out-of-control Nashinator on the loose. So? Go get it back! Uh, we can't. We're, um, we're stuck. 
In gnashing its way out, it crippled security and jammed the exits. Yeah? Well, I hope it ate your spy socks and weed on your spy carpet, too. Actually, it did. So, here's the deal, kid. You will get Nasher back on one condition. That you keep the Nashinator out of trouble until backup arrives. Hang on. Is this, like, a mission? Because, seriously, if you do have Black Ops Cola Cubes, they would be... Go! But beware. The Nashinator was created for one purpose and one purpose alone. To seek out and gnash the enemy. And unfortunately, it seems to have developed certain natural dislikes. What do you mean? And I now declare the Beano Town Annual Postman's Convention open! <laughs> okay, people, listen up. We're working for MI-13, and we need you to evacuate the building right away, because there's an unstoppable set of robot teeth coming to gnash you. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> for it. After three. One. Butternut squash here. Ouch! Curly, the aubergines. <laughs> Nasha, no! Nasha, Nasha! Quick, we need a diversion. We, <gasps> of course, the sausage. There's still one sausage left. Huh? Uh, sorry? Ah! Honestly, disturbing the peace, destruction of property, possession of a dangerous weapon. Dennis, do you never learn? Huh? Uh, hey, Robo Chops! Oh, look who's here! <laughs> <laughs> And Nasha, you were brilliant. You saved all those posties. Yes, Nash, Nash. Nash, 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 Well, temporarily saved them anyway. So yes, you may rest assured that Project Nashinator has now been officially mothballed, and the Nashinator itself disposed of. You haven't just stuck it in a giant warehouse full of wooden boxes, then? No. Still, there has been one good thing come out of this. Yeah? What's that? Our detailed studies of Nash's teeth have helped us develop these. MI-13's new armored field trousers. Now scientifically proven to be completely 100% Nash proof. Nash, Nash? Ah! Ah! Okay, okay. 74% Nash proof. Come on, class, put some spring in your step. Someone say spring! I'm going up in the world! It's okay, it's just PE. You can handle this. Substitute! <laughs> 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 
dismissed. <laughs> School is normal tomorrow, all of you. Ooh. That's if I can find someone prepared to take you on. Just the essentials. Emergency marking pen. Lucky board rubber. <sighs> the Beano Town Rest Home for overstressed teachers. The perfect place to get back to your rule-making, homework-setting best. No children allowed. Sounds perfect. We need someone to look after the class and cope with Dennis. You just need to know his little tricks. Exactly, which gave me an idea. Listen. <laughs> no pets! You know the rules. Bet our new teacher won't. Settle down and say hello to your new teacher. What? Hello, everyone. I'm Mrs. Ed oh, just call me Mum like Dennis does. Unless he's had a nightmare and then it's Mummykins. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> When I was three! <laughs> Priceless! Oh, this is bad, Dennis. What are you gonna do? Well, a teacher's a teacher. She might be my mum, but she's still gonna have to deal with the new teacher welcome pack. Oh! Uh, look out, Miss! Oh, I mean, Mum! Uh, there's a. Uh, don't worry, Walter. I've dealt with Dennis all my life. Uh, Curly, you're up. <coughs> Flowers, Miss Mum? Oh! <coughs> See, I know all their tricks. Oh, Pie Face, get me some pencils, please. Oh, okie dok, Miss Mum. No! no! <laughs> oh! Oh, who put that there? Oh, no, oh, yeah, I did. Oh, it's it. At least let Nasha stay. You can't be home alone. Oh, what a good idea. We need a class pet. <laughs> <laughs> Right, gang, this means war. Right, safety goggles on, everyone. <laughs> now, knowing Dennis, he's probably put ink on my goggle rims, which is why I've swapped his for mine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where's Creature when you need her? Ah, this is the life. Good to see you settling in. I'm Mr. Cheddar, former headmaster and now rest home manager. Oh, it feels just like being at school. The perfect school, one without any children. <laughs> one times two is two. Two times two is four. Three times two is six. Four times two is eight. Ah. Oh. Class, go and find some creepy crawlies. <laughs> if she wants creepy crawlies, let's see how she likes this. Nice try, but you'll never get one over on Mum. She's not human. She's like an anti-prank machine. Nash, nash. Ah, I know. And right, two, three, four. Quipe, two, three, four. Oh, it's nice not having to worry about turning my back on Dennis. Ah, Dennis, where? No, where? Oh. <laughs> Fingers <laughs> on lips. Not again. <laughs> We don't say the D word here. Half my guests are here because of... <gasps> him. It's OK, everyone. Another hour of whiteboard yoga should calm us all down. Another hour? You're right. Let's make it two. And right, two, three, four. Goodbye, Miss Mum. Can I say it's been a pleasure? A real education. And you smell so nice, too. I can't take another day of this. Can you take another day of this? In fact, have you ever thought about doing this full time? Ah! We'll never menace again. We have to get Creature back. Where from? We don't know where she is. Nasha, find her scent. Nash! 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 A home for overstressed teachers. Oh, it says no children allowed. Not a problem, Curly. Time for Plan D and G. We look ridiculous. Exactly. Just like real teachers. Where's Nasha? <coughs> Nash? He's my teacher's pet, of course. <whistles> C 
thought we'd just stand here for 90 minutes? Of course not. That would be silly. <laughs> At half time, we change ends. Oh. <laughs> New arrivals. I should go and greet them. Carry on without me. Carry on what? What's the point without any children? Hang on. There's something very familiar about those teachers. Is this the rest home for overstressed teachers? <laughs> um, he's so stressed, he sneezed his moustache off. Oh, happens all the time. Come on in. Take a seat in the staff room. Oh, this is a funny-looking staff room. Looks more like a confiscation cupboard. <laughs> That's because it is a confiscation cupboard, and you've been confiscated. Dopey disguises, don't fool me. I've seen every trick in the book. Twice. Now sit nice and quietly while I call your parents. Oh. <laughs> oh, we'll never get Creature back. My mum's going to teach us forever. <laughs> You're looking grumpy, Denny Wenny. Do you need mummykins to burp you? <laughs> <laughs> no! Aha! I knew it! Just what we need. How many lines do we get for this then, miss? None. I'm breaking you out and I'm breaking out with you. Eh? A school without kids isn't perfect? It's boring. At least you lot keep me on my toes. Cool. Not so fast! No one's ever walked out on me. You need another three months' detention. I mean, rest. We'll see about that. Huh? Miss? Desperate times call for desperate measures. Boys, let's take them down. <laughs> Stop it, all of you! Fingers on lips! I'm in charge here. I'm not afraid of you. There's only one boy ever got the better of me, and he... Hello, Mr. Cheddar. I'm here to pick up Dennis. Is right here. Ah! Great to see you, sir. It's been years. Wow! That's my patented two-man pie pump. The one you confiscated 20 years ago. Wonder if it still works. It does still work. Fingers on! <laughs> Oops. <laughs> May have got a bit carried away. Just go! All of you! Dismissed! Oh. You heard him! Done way! Shame to leave this. Now Creature's back, Mum's off our case. Result! So let's give Creature a proper welcome back. With your dad's two-man pie pump. Correction! With my three-man and one dog pie pump. Genius wears a striped jumper. <laughs> oh, nice. I'm confiscating that contraption for another 20 years. Oh, it's good to be back. It's good to have you back, miss. 